Hey guys, Hecons here with another World of Warcraft gold making guide. This is episode 2 of my 0 to 1 million gold challenge. We did start out fresh on a brand new realm, so today we're going to be taking a look at a couple ways to grow our starting bankroll. We're going to need gold to get set up with a few of the shuffles. So our first milestone is to hit around 10k gold, and then ideally work up to around 50k liquid. So we did finish getting leveled to 120. Thanks again to my guilty Somno for doing the freehold boost over the weekend. Um, what I'm going to be working on this week is I've seen probably grinding out some time walking on this tune uh, to get some gear, as well as the one free normal piece. Come back with some um, I will also be looking at any good investments on the auction house. You guys can see that I've already picked up a few recipes as well as transmog pieces which I thought were underpriced. And then I did also do Arathi on this tune. I think I got all the bosses killed and managed to get two pets. The Aldrusian Spratling and the Tiny Grimoire, so... I'll be throwing these up on the auction house. And you guys can see I did manage to sell two enchanting Velms. Uh, 73 silver each. Not much profit, but... I think they cost around 15 silver. So, we did like quintuple our gold from that. Um, only one gold and 46 silver in sales though, so nothing too crazy. And then I did also do one of the uh, emissary quests. I think it was a Tertullian one for 2k as well. And then you guys can see I have a Proudmore one to do um, in the next 7 hours for the 2k gold, so... I'll be doing that for a little bit of extra gold, and that should put us around 7.2k. And then I do also need to unlock my followers on this tune. Uh, that way we can get the mission tables going and hopefully get some gold off of that as well. So I got a lot done tonight. You guys can see that I was able to unlock 4 out of 5 of my followers. Uh, the 5th one is tied to 7th Legion rep, so I need to hit Revered with them first before I can unlock it, but... Managed to get two, and now we can send them out on missions like, you know, this gold one here. Uh, turning 40 resources, it looks like, into 126 gold, which isn't too bad. And then we can also start working on some rep. Um, so we do need one of them for... A rank 3 bag recipe. Forget which one. I think it's Storm's Wake, but not 100% sure. But we got 115% with our remaining two followers, so just do that one. And it did also do uh, two wings of Alifar. Um. You guys can see I did Empire's Fall, which is Opulence, Conclave, and Rostakon. And then I did also suffer through Crucible, both bosses, and managed to get two bags. Uh, the War Turn Satchel of Cooperation. And these should have pretty decent amount of gold in them, as well as Augment Runes, so... It's kind of curious how many they give. Uh, so, first bag gave 936 gold, 3 augment runes, which are around 300 gold on this realm, so, uh, like 1.8k. Uh, second one gave 937 gold, so only 1 gold more, and 3 augment runes as well, so another 1.8k. Um, so we do have 10 augment runes. And we are up to 13.8k, which isn't too bad. And then off of Rasta, kind of was able to get a staff if I decided to play balance. And the uh, recipe for the Tiki Mask. So I'll probably learn that once I max uh, enchanting. And then I did also pick up a gift package off of a Blinktron 4k. Remember that any of the gift packages have a chance to drop uh, one of the engineering mounts. 
Um, there's also the uh, knockoff Blinktron, which is still worth a decent amount. Definitely not as high as back in Legion, but still worth picking up these gift packages and opening them, so. Uh, just two junk items. Five gold and 50 copper. That would scare you shellless. So I think the next step is going to be probably leveling our professions. Um, I do have a ton of cloth that I've stockpiled. So I'll probably craft a bunch of bracers. Um, just disenchant these for enchanting mats and then see how far I can get uh, enchanting skilled up. Come back with some better Remember that in 8.2 we will need to have our skills capped to craft the new recipes, so that's definitely something you want to do before 8.2. So I'm probably going to get started on these bracers tonight, and I'll show you guys how far I get into the professions. So I was able to get my tailoring up to skill 85 and enchanting to 40 so far. With tailoring all I did was craft the bracers until around 60. I believe these four recipes turn green at around 60, so I uh, stopped at 60 for the bracers and then just did robes until 85. Uh, the importance of getting up to 85, of course, is warm, does unlock quite a few recipes, but the important one I was looking at is the deep sea bag. I did check the prices of the deep sea satin as well as the tide spray linen on this realm. Uh, crafting cost of these bags at rank 2s is it around uh, 700 gold, a little bit under 700. And right now, the deep sea bags are going for around 900 gold, so. Uh, after the auction house cut, we should make around 100 gold per bag. Um, so I'll probably craft these up to skill level 100. Uh, I'm not sure when they turn like yellow and green, so. I'll just craft until they turn green, I guess. I'm not sure if I have enough gold to buy enough mats to buy that many bags, but I'll probably craft around 15 to start. And then enchanting's getting pretty expensive to level now. Um, you can see there's only six orange recipes. Really don't want to craft any of these weapon enchants since they don't sell for very much. The other choices are to use I don't have any sanguine cells, so that's out of the question. Uh, the next choice is to do the Umber Wands. I just need some Starwood for that, but it does take a lot of Gloom, gloom Dust and Umber Shards. Um, I could also just do a bunch of the Wrist Enchants on my own wrists. Or do some of these Ring Enchants. Now these are only the 27 stat ones, so... They will not sell for very much, but... Um... May end up doing these ring enchants, actually. And see what the prices are like on the auction house first, of course. And if it's too low, then... Might actually do the umbral ones, because I can disenchant those. I'll get some of the gloom dust back. But, first thing I'm gonna do is work on the bags and throw those up on the auction house. So I was able to get my tailoring to 130 and enchanting to 60 now. You can see that I did sell a few of the seal of versatilities for 30 gold each, uh, which is about break even. You can see it's uh, 10 gloom dust to make at rank two. Um, gloom dust is probably around three gold, so around break even. Of course, I didn't have to buy any of the Gloom Dust since I shoveled my own bracers using tailoring, so... Uh, not sure if it was a loss or if it was profit, but... Pretty happy selling a couple of those. Uh, for tailoring... I did craft 9 of the Deep Sea Bags... Uh, at rank 2. I did end up equipping 4 of those and then threw 5 on the Auction House. And then for the rest of the skill points, I ended up doing the Embroidered Deep Sea Satin up to 130. Um, 
recipe is one deep sea satin, one tight spray linen, and five nylon thread. So, uh, pretty cheap to spam. And the embroidered deep sea satins we can use for probably crafting like 340s later on. Uh, not sure how I'm going to get the rest of my skill points, but I'll probably. Might actually have to do some PvP on this tune. Um, grab these uh, Ring 3 recipes. And then craft them for the rest of the skill points uh, to get capped. And then for enchanting... Might wait for Ring 3 of the Seal recipes to drop. Um, they're green right now, so... Probably not worth it to craft these. But, I think they turn either yellow or orange once you get rank 3. And you can craft these up to, like, level 85, so... Might just have to put the enchanting on hold for a while. Um, spam these to 85, and then... Probably start on the weapon enchant ones. I did see the deadly nav was going for a pretty decent amount. But you can see it takes uh, skill 125 to get rank 2, so... Uh, to get up there I would need way more Veiled Crystals, way more Umber Shards, and... I'm actually pretty good on Gloom Dust. I still have two and a half stacks left. So... I just need Umber Shards and Veiled Crystals and I'd be set. Um... I may actually end up spanning some Mythic Zeros on this tune. And then just disenchant what I get. Uh, stuff that isn't an upgrade. But yeah, tailoring is way easier to level. Um, you can see the ring enchants. Even the green ones sell, so. Um, fortunately, they're green, so. I'll probably have to wait until one of the world quests is up. Um, Mastery and Haste both come from a world quest, so either I could wait for those or I could just spam some Mythic Zeros, get some build Crystals, and craft these, so. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do yet. And we do also have, um, I need to check this as well, the Darkmoon Fair is next weekend, so... I could wait one week and get five skill points for both professions. Might actually do that with tailoring. Not sure what I'm going to do with enchanting, because I don't know if I can get it up in time. Uh, it is really expensive to level, so... I'll let you guys know what I end up doing uh, to get the skill points for enchanting. It's been a couple of days and I was able to get a few more points into my enchanting. I did craft a bunch of these weapon enchants, deadly, masterful, quick, stalwart, and versatile nav, and threw those up on the auction house. You can see I was able to get around 600 gold for the quick navs and around 760 for the deadly navs, which isn't too bad. Did also sell those five DC bags that I crafted to level up my tailoring for around a little under 700. Uh, pretty close to break even, but I did make a small profit on those, and uh, even if it was at a small loss, I wouldn't care too much since I used it to level up my tailoring. And then we did also sell a bunch of the uh, ring enchants, the seal versatility for around looks like 30 gold, and one stack of two at 237. These were a turn in for Alliance a few days ago, so. Pretty decent demand on these, and I think I crafted probably around 20, uh, maybe 30, and we sold, it looks like, around half of those, so really happy about those sales. Did sell one light parchment at 10 gold. Remember, it's a vendor item, and I think these were like 15 copper, if I recall correctly. Not sure, but pretty nice profit on that. And then, for whatever reason, someone had a bunch of the enchanting villains up on the action house for one copper each. I uh, bought those out. And then, I did get a bunch of more Tide Spray Linen. I saw a bunch under one gold, so I bought those up. And I'll just be crafting 
uh, bracers with tailoring, and then disenchanting those to get some more enchanting mats. Now you can see that my gold's down to around 7.1k. I did spend a bunch of gold on some enchanting mats uh, a couple of days ago. I think around 5.2k went into mats. But we have a 6.1k mailbox. So, should make up some of it. And then I did also run a couple of old raids last night. I did a 25 man Firelands. Got around 1.8k gold from that, as well as a pet. Uh, the Cinderweb egg. And then I did Bastion Twilight. Uh, that gave us the second pet, the Twilight Summoning Portal. Uh, one gold, 1k gold rather, as well. And then a couple of volatiles. You can see I already sold for the volatile earth for around 35 gold each. And then lastly I did Siege of Ogremar. Uh, I think 25 man mythic. That gave us around 2.7k, but no pets from that. Oh, I did also get a bunch of the uh, modes of harmony as well from Siege of Ogremar. Uh, Wind Wool Cloth. We do have tailoring, so we might be able to use this for something. And then one Ghost Iron Lockbox. Don't have a rogue on this realm, so I might have to do... You can do a Trial Tune, and I think the Trial Tune can unlock most of the lockboxes, so... I'll probably end up doing that. Oh, and we did also sell one of the other pets, the Void Wiggler, for around 200 gold. Forgot where this came from, but... For most of my runs, I'm just after the raw gold to get started on this realm, so... I'm really happy when stuff like this sells. And we have around 6.1k from the last, looks like around 5 days, like 4 to 5 days, so pretty solid sale so far. Um, we have been here, I think around 2 weeks now, and yeah, pretty solid sales. Uh, we have some starting capital now, and we can start making some investments into stuff like, uh, Tight spray linen, shuffle those into bracers, and then hopefully get our enchanting up before the weekend. Remember, we do have the Darkmoon Fair coming up, and that'll get you five extra points uh, into one of your professions, or each of your professions rather. So I think I can get my tailoring up, just doing some PvP and buying some tokens, or getting some tokens and buying some of the rank 2 and rank 3 recipes. Maybe go after the cloak first. Uh, craft some of those and throw those up in the auction house. Could also rep grind, but... It will take a while to get revered with the Order of Embers. Um, I'd... Probably go after the 32 slot bags. I think the best way to farm that is just to kill Naga. And... It's like a random chance to drop the... 32 slot bag recipe, so... Might also have to do that this week. And then, of course, we're trying to level up our enchanting. Uh, pretty expensive to do. You can see at rank 1, it takes 1 Veld Crystal. Around 300 gold in this realm. Ember Shard. Probably like 20 to 30 gold on this realm. And then Gloom Dust, which is between like 3 to 5 gold, so... That does add up, and... Uh, that's for one enchant, which only gives us one skill point, so... It's gonna be a lot of shuffling, and a lot of farming for old um, old raids and stuff for raw gold. And buying probably the build crystals, like the Umber Shards and Gloom Dust, I can just shuffle from tailoring. Um, so we'll try and get that up, I think, uh, before the weekend. And have it ready to be skilled up with the Dark Moon Fair. Go ahead and loot this, and probably work on some bracers tonight. Maybe run a few more 
old raids for some raw gold, but... It's probably gonna be it for this episode. Um, it is getting pretty long, I think, so... I uh, look forward to seeing you guys in episode 3. To recap, we grew from around 2.5k in the last video to around 11 to 12k liquid gold. We also have around 218k region market value average with over 1.2 million gold listed value on the auction house. Now this is according to the Under My Journal. I'd say we're off to a great start and I'll continue to work on my bankroll to get into bigger flips and shuffles. Thanks a lot for watching episode 2 of my 0 to 1 million gold challenge. And as always, a huge shout out to my June Patreons. I'll catch you all in episode 3 and hope you guys all have a great week. Late.